Good morning all. The Drilling Room. Another jigsaw puzzle from JLC PCB. So DHL have been and brought me this box. Let's see what's inside it. Another jigsaw puzzle. And it's another mm, room. Something room. Uh, doesn't look like the same as that. Because where it says room... There's no sort of black line. So yeah, that's another room. We'll have to have a look at that. Here are my PCBs. Let's get them open. These are the Chorizo uh, USB to serial adapter. And also my Pro Minty. Or the sort of initial version of the Pro Minty. How do I get these open? Um, which is my microcontroller. Sort of Arduino style board. Right, let's see what this smaller package is. And here it is, five pieces of Giuliano Chorizo C. So that's Chorizo with the CH340C chip, which doesn't require the crystal and load capacitors because it's got a built-in oscillator. Let's take a closer look at one of these. So what can we see? Yeah, CH340C, uh, two LEDs at the top. One of them seems to have a little green flash pointing to the right, and that goes to TX and the other one goes to RX. So they get pulled low when serial data is being transmitted. And the two resistors on those LEDs go to the five volts. Uh, there's a tantalum capacitor at the top going to the 5 volts. 5 volts also appears to go to pin ooh, 16 of that 16 pin chip. And also down to the, well I assume it's a 100N capacitor. Uh, bottom left, just above where it says Chorizo C. And that's pretty much it. There's one more capacitor on pin 4 and I believe that's the 3.3 volts uh, input which is just decoupled to the ground plane. Well, I suppose we should see whether this works, shouldn't we? And this means that I've now got two uh, USB to serial converter boards, the Chili Pepper, which uses the CP2102 and the Chorizo, which uses the CH340. So that's enough USB to serial converters, I think. Uh, I'm confident that I can get USB to serial working. Let's take a look at the other package now, and that's my microcontroller board. Now, I might not get around to testing uh, this board today, but I'll certainly do the USB to serial. Alright, I'm not sure why this is so much bigger a package than the other one. I suppose we're about to find out. Oh, they're quite large. Yes. Uh, this was the one, if you remember, where I put the blue LED which is down there bottom right, uh, an 0805 on an 0603 pad and they have fitted it and it looks like it's on there. It's not a brilliant fit, but uh, yeah, so <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't recommend you putting the wrong component on the wrong uh, footprint, but yeah, they do seem to have had a go at that. Um, oh, that one's the other way around, so that one's like that. Yeah, 0805 on an 0603 footprint. Hilarious. And looking around this a bit further, we can see the oh, hexagonal or octagonal switch at the bottom left. Uh, a Mega 328P microcontroller on there. You can fairly clearly see the 16.000 uh, megahertz crystal with two load capacitors. I can't remember what I put on here. I don't think it was 22 puff this time. I think it was 15 or 12 or something. Uh, and various other capacitors and resistors and LEDs and just lots of connectors. That's essentially what this board is. Well, okay, let's do some soldering. Uh, I've got my USB mini B connectors here. People keep saying, why are you using mini B? Well, I've got lots of mini B cables for one thing. And also these are through hole, through and through, 
through hole for the mountings, through hole for the five connections. I am working my way through the JLC PCB parts inventory. I will switch to uh, micro B and eventually USB C, but let's just do one thing, take one step at a time. So it's uh, mini B for the time being, all through hole. Stick one of those on. I've got a little uh, six way right angle connector there. Let's get them on, get this tested. Right, iron's warmed up. Let's give it a little bit of a clean and put on this through hole connector. I'll do the mounting holes first. That's some solder gone into the hole. That's some solder gone into that hole. Now, can I do these five connections with this particular pair of glasses? Just about. I think that's done. Let's get the right angle connector on. Do this with the camera a little bit closer. Oh, that's just rolled away. Now stay there because that's holding the connector in the right orientation. If I do two pins, I can probably dispense with that. Which one's ground? This one's ground. Now I think I had smaller spokes on this one. Oh, it's still quite tricky. And the other connections, and there it is, it's done. Here's my uh, Arduino Pro Mini connected to uh, a chili pepper board. So if the connections go in the same order, 5 volt ground, TX, RX, DTR, RTS, 5 volt ground, TX, RX, DTR, RTS, they do. Then I can just pull that off and plug it straight onto this one. Um, yes, I'd moved the reset. I think in the last video I tested this with DTR and that worked, so this time I'll do it with RTS. That worked on this one, on the uh, chili pepper. Will it work on the chorizo C? Let's find out. So first things first, does it explode on plug-in? Uh, no, it doesn't. Power does seem to get through to this. And it runs the blink sketch. So that's good. Let's get the blink sketch up. Download it. See if my TX and RX lights light up. This one doesn't have a power light. I think this one did, didn't it? Up the top there. Uh, see if they light up when I download the sketch. Or is it upload? I can't remember. So now here's, here's my blink fast sketch uh, with 100 millisecond delays. So the LED will flash fast. It was flashing slow uh, on the unit when we last looked at it. Okay, so let's, um, now I have to go tools, board as a pro mini, that's fine. 80 mega 328p, five volt 16 meg, but the port will have changed because this is a CH340. So I assume it's on port four. Let's start compiling that. That will take a while. I'm going to start my other camera, the phone camera, so that I capture. Uh, yes, compiling sketch. Oh, that's going very slow. I have to cut a big section of this out. Still compiling, but I think it's nearing the end of the compilation phase. Uploading. Oh, oh, and the lights flashed. That looks very good. And we got a fast blink. <laughs> Fantastic. So, well, that works, doesn't it? Still compiling, but I think it's nearing the end of the compilation phase. Uploading. Oh, oh, and the lights flashed. That looks very good. And we got a fast blink. <laughs> Fantastic. So, well, that works, doesn't it? So that works. There's the fast flashing LED. Now that was with the reset line on RTS. I suppose we could just do it again with the reset line on DTR. It should be fine. But what I'll do is I'll compile and install or upload the uh, standard blink sketch, which is here. So let's upload that and compile it. Oh, that's going to be quite quick. Let's watch these lights. 
There they are. Um, now you saw mostly red first and then mostly green second. And what that is, is the mostly red is mostly TX. So that's the host computer uh, transmitting the code into this chip. There's the slow blink, so it is working. Then of course it does a verify. So that's mostly RX. So it's reading it all back and comparing it against the, uh, the hex code on the PC. And then it says, yes, that they're, they're the same and that's fine. So that's why you see some mostly TX and then mostly RX. It's a fairly short program, so they're fairly fast. But uh, yeah, that uh, Chorizo C board appears to work on my Pro Mini. So the next thing is going to be take the Pro Minty. Now I haven't called it Pro Minty because this is a sort of early test version. Just wanted to see if I could get a CPU on a board and get it to work. The process will be, we'll have to fit the six pin ICSP, ISP, sorry, ISP header uh, on here, program a bootloader into this chip. Um, then I'll need to fit this five pin header, um, which is the equivalent of this connector on the Pro Mini. That then I can connect to either the Trizzo or the Chili Pepper. Then I can install the Blink Sketch. I'll need to put another link on for whichever one of these LEDs is the D13 LED. Not quite sure why I put a link on the D13 LED, but anyway, there it is, it's on there. And see if it blinks. And then I can put in the radio tower and the OLED and touch board and see whether it runs, uh, well, the normal thing that runs on this with my dual OLED display. It's not running at the moment because the connector goes in there and at the moment it's in there. So that's what I need to do with that, but I'll do that in the next video. I think this is all I wanted to do in this video. But yeah, I've now got my two USB to serial boards. Cheerio.